heirloom apples of the season. The colorful displays of organic produce. Tempting ready-to-eat delicacies. The Vitamix will actually chop it up. It'll and product demonstrations it aimed at hardcore food. These are the hallmarks of a Whole Foods market. There are already Whole Foods stores in West Bloomfield, Troy, Rochester Hills, and Ann Arbor. And by the spring of 2013, there will be one right here at Mac and John R. in the heart of Midtown. We felt like, you know what, this is a place that we want to be. But why did Whole Foods decide to move to Detroit when many other major food chains have abandoned the city? There's a certain amount of data analysis and market research that you do, but then there's also a gut check, right? You have to get into a city, into a community, and walk around and say, are there people here that reflect a spirit, a strength, uh, and an interest in food. Apparently, the answer was yes. It's an answer that has excited those who are promoting Midtown Detroit as a place to call home. Well, I think it's a game changer from the retail side because a company like Whole Foods moving to a neighborhood, that's their stamp of approval that the neighborhood is going in the right direction. I think others will follow. And business people know that the bottom line for a company like Whole Foods Markets is profit. Whole Foods uh, didn't do that because they were feeling sorry for us. They thought it was, good, it was a good business move for them. The truth is we're looking at this as a long-term investment. This might not make money for us right away. We might take some risk on this. But it's a calculated risk based on things Whole Food leaders have seen in Detroit. Things like an increase in urban gardening and the popularity of Eastern Market. These are indications the city is getting excited about healthy foods. And employees are excited about the new opportunities the Detroit store may offer. We have a lot of team members that are excited about uh, transferring, to include myself, that want to work in Detroit. Because just, uh, just being a part of the rebuild in the community, I think, excites a lot of people. But the number of transfers will be limited to give members of the nearby community a chance at many of the jobs. The community will be involved in other ways. The new store will include a mezzanine level with a meeting room open to the public. It could host uh, a community meeting in there if they wanted. Um, they could... Um, you know, do some healthy education. And here on Woodward, Whole Foods will open a small community office in January where people can learn more about the area and the company. We're going to be doing job training, um, healthy education. It will also be a resource for local suppliers, places like Avalon Bakery, that are interested in providing products or service for the store. We're interested in talking to any and all local vendors. So if there's people watching this today that are saying, hey, you know what, I make a good local product, we want to know about it.